What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, you saw it. I got my hands on a 4070. I'm so stoked to go over this with you guys. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've been debating on should I get a 4090, should I get two 4070 TIs, or should I get three 4070s? And, you know, after careful deliberation, I decided I should have one of every 40 series GPU. I mean, that makes the most sense to be able to test them on the channel for you guys. So we're going to start with the 4070. I noticed that my local Best Buy had one in stock and I thought, you know what? Screw it. I've got the money for that right now. Let's just do it and let's make some content. But before we do that, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Let's take a look at the farm. So I've got it in the rig called Tatooine, which has got a couple of 3060 Ti's, a couple of 3070's. We got the 4070, a 3080, and a 3070 Ti. And at the moment, we are mining Radiant because, according to Hashrate.no, that is the most profitable thing to mine at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, pay no attention to Dynex numbers here. I don't think we're getting. $37 a day in profit on Dynex. That looks like uh, some type of reporting issue. But yeah, it's currently on Dynex and it shows to get 1200 mega hash at 106 watts. So how are we doing compared to that? So we're right at 1200 giga hash at 98 watts. So doing pretty good using the suggested overclocks from hashrate.no. Of course, I'll do a little bit more testing on future algorithms as well and we'll see how it compares to what hashrate.no is showing uh, bear in mind i am on the latest version of bz minor 14.3.0 and by the way for those of you who have been following the channel if you caught the last video comparing bz minor rigel minor and lol minor on ironfish the winner of that one was actually rigel however that was just hours before BZ Miner released this 14.3.0. So I'm going to make a new video here in the near future. And we'll compare Rigel Miner and BZ Miner once again to see who's the top dog. So the 4070 did have some driver issues, and I wanted to cover that in this video in detail in case any of you out there running a 40 series GPU are running into the same problem. So you can see the driver version that I'm running right now is 525.116.03. And whenever I got the 4070, threw it into the rig and updated the drivers. And you know what, actually, let's go over how to do this, just in case you guys aren't aware. So if you go to settings, you're going to scroll down to maintenance mode, and you're going to select without loading drivers. Now, of course, make sure you stop the rig before doing this but once you load without drivers what you're going to do at that point is you're going to go up here to hive shell start and then you'll click the little link here and what you're going to want to do is right click paste from browser and then you're going to paste let's see if i still have it on my clipboard no i don't but uh it it's essentially NVIDIA install driver and then the driver number. Now, if you just do NVIDIA driver update, it's going to pull the latest version. And unfortunately, that version did not work for me. Um, the 4070 was showing up as a generic name here. It did not say GeForce RTX 4070. It did hash properly. I uh, didn't have any problems mining whatsoever, but unfortunately, I couldn't make a video with it looking like that. So, of course, I had to get this remedied. So, I went and checked NVIDIA's website to see what the latest driver is. And it is, in fact, different than what I'm running, actually. So, the current driver is 530.41.03. And that's specifically for a 4070. Ask me how I know. So... You've got to change your GPUs in this drop down here, and I neglected to change it from a 4090. Just made sure to select Linux and hit search, and what do you know? 525.116.03, and that is what I am currently running. So I'm running the driver that was released for the 4090, 
Uh, but it apparently works great for the 4070 and I'm not having any issues whatsoever. Now, I probably will go ahead and update to the latest driver specifically for the 4070, but I don't know for certain that it works. So I'm just sharing with you guys what is currently working for me, which is this here. So NVIDIA-Driver-Update space 525.116.03. And we'll just highlight this, copy it here. So we'll go back to Hive Shell, right click, paste from browser, right click, paste, hit OK. And then at this point, you would hit enter and it would install that particular driver. Now, it's very likely if you do this sometime in the next few days, it's probably going to tell you it's going to have to look for that driver on NVIDIA's website. But it will go out there and it will find the driver and it will automatically install it for you. Now, once it's done and it's successful, then you're going to go back into your settings, scroll down to maintenance mode once again, and select disable. Now, at that point, the rig should reboot, but I always go through the trouble of just selecting the power options and rebooting myself. And once I did that, yeah, the name popped up fine. Haven't had any issues since then, so... As far as I can tell, this particular driver is the one you perhaps should be using if you have a 4070. So just a couple of other key things to note before we get out of here. Just want to take a look at hash rates and profitability at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So as you can see, Radiant is currently the most profitable thing, and then followed by Ironfish. And then we have Nexa and Casper. Look at this, making it up into the top four once again currently showing 12 cents a day in profit but I am at roughly 7 cents per kilowatt hour which would yield me about 30 cents a day in profit on Caspa and on Nexa we'd be at 48 cents and Radiant 47 cents and then Ironfish 42 cents so profitability is looking pretty good on the 4070 but anyways that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the content do me a favor before you go Hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.